friends and welcome to the show. My name is Roy Brown, if you haven't seen me before, I was 15 years old, I broke my neck and I've never looked fucking back since. <laughs> Could have been a star years ago, but I wouldn't sleep with that cunt Huey Green. <laughs> Sorry I'm a bit late coming on, but I've just had a wank. Now an hour salad feels after it's been fucking tossed. <laughs> I say I am Roy Brown and my motto in life is don't others as they're doing to you, then fuck off before the police get there. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with Simon LeBron's new song. Upside down. <laughs> Dozy cunt. Are you the fucking audience? I've seen more life in a knit nurse's fucking comb. Well, I'm gonna be on here well over an hour. If I do offend you, come and see me later on. I'll fucking offend you again, all right. You can't get out, the doors are locked. A man with two wooden legs has a better chance of getting out of a fucking forest fire. This is alternative comedy. The alternative is you can fuck off now if you want. <laughs> I've got a message on behalf of the management. Would you please, please not laugh at the beer? <laughs> You'll be all flat and fucking weak yourself one day. <laughs> We're sorry there's only two sandwiches left behind the bar. Apparently the chef's off with fucking food poison. Hey, God. What I'm going to do is, boys and girls, I'm going to start off with a little song that Chubby has put together himself. It's a wonderful little ballad called I Use Your Shit for Toothpaste. <laughs> I don't know what these are for. I can't fucking fight. I hope you like it. Here we go. It's from Chubby's latest film. <laughs> you feel wet niggas in here now. There's a crazy new dance. The sweep on the face. It's a public disgrace to the human race. Hang on, Ronnie, they're not dancing. Fuck them. <laughs> now, you skinny bastard. <laughs> Charles Atlas sent you fucking money back, did he? I bet when you get a bath and you pull the plug out, you have to fight against the fucking current, do you? <laughs> I went to pictures last night, I wasn't working. I went to see a film, hey, fantastic, about a woman with eight cunts. It's called Octopussy. I can't wait to see that film about that 12-year-old girl who comes on, face blood. <laughs> well, you've gathered by now, I'm not an impressionist. I do scenes from films, he's a scene from Jaws. Get off, you cunt. scene from the film Oliver. Fuck off, greedy bastard. <laughs> Here's a scene from Blazing Saddles. <laughs> T 
See if you can guess this one. Like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Every which way you can. Hey, there's some good films out, isn't there? I saw one last night on video when I got home. Pure fucking filth. <laughs> King Kong and Linda Lovelace was called Sore Throat. <laughs> I've got some good gags for you tonight, so you'll have to be fucking quiet. These two punk rockers were walking through a forest and one of them said, Oh, John. What would you do for bed? Shit on your head. Should have fucking pack her in. <laughs> Haven't been very well myself, you know. Oh, I was at the doctor's. I said, I've got a rash on me bell end. He said, you wank fast or slow, Chubbs? I said, well, I like to take my time. She said, what do you do for a living? I said, I'm a comic. He said, that's what you've got. Fucking slow hand clap. <laughs> he said, you've got AIDS. I said, hey, now, fuck off. <laughs> I only stood on a nail. He said, well, it was fucking bent then, wasn't it? Talking to the barmaid when I come in, really nice girl, all the fucking tattoos were spelt right. <laughs> Asking her the usual things, you live round here, do you fuck? <laughs> we are on about our most embarrassing moments, I said, oh, I can remember mine, it was when our mum caught me playing with me fucking self. <laughs> she said, all kids do that, I said, kids, it was fucking yesterday afternoon. <laughs> I said, your tit's hanging out. He said, oh, it's the manager. Put fuck all away when he's finished with it. <laughs> I'm not in a very good mood. I've had to pack the girlfriend in for health reasons. Fucking wife was going to kill us. <laughs> She's pissed off back to her mother's. My mate said, you're all right, Chubby. She'll come back. They always fucking do. I said, I don't think so this time. She took her fucking bingo pens with her. I'm glad she's gone. I don't know how many times she tried to commit suicide this month for the gas bill with 106 fucking quid. <laughs> I came home the other night. That's not my lipstick on your collar. I said, oh, too fucking right it isn't. <laughs> you couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut long enough. She said to me yesterday morning, there's a fella at the door selling some new shoes. They're only 20 pound. Real skin. I said, ah, my house is real skin, but it's got a fucking hole in it. <laughs> she said, you're tighter than Dolly Parton's fucking seatbelt. Now, we are, can't be the only husband that makes his wife wash her lily pads out. She called me tight and we've just been to Mallorca. Cost me a fucking fortune. Some shagging going on out there, isn't it? <laughs> Half past twelve at night, that fucking island's going like that. <laughs> I don't know why we go to Spain, because they can't cook, can they? I got the fucking runs again. I could have shit through the gap in Sister Teresa's fucking legs. And I must have fucking stunk. I come out the toilet and there was 4,000 flies giving us a fucking round of applause. <laughs> Apparently you have to buy the water. I sent it to the shop, come back with 30 bottles. I said, you silly cow. We're only here a week. She said, I want a fucking bath. I'd never flown before. I'm, not, I'm a big bloke, but hey, I was frightened of fucking death. I don't know that aeroplane got off the tarmac with a tear that was in my underpants.
I read the instructions. It said, in case of an emergency, get as far forward in your seat as you possibly can. Get your legs up to your chest and get your arms round your legs and get your head between your knees and kiss your bollocks fucking tata. <laughs> I was glad to get home. Because I live on the seafront. See, I can see the sea every day. The wife said to me the other night, will you come to bed? I said, that lighthouse is getting on my fucking nerves. On, off, on, off. She said, you'd blink if you had crabs on your rocks. <laughs> it's a nice place. If you ever want to come to Redcar, they've built a safari park and there's real lions and tigers and a snake and an elephant. It's two pounds long as you stay in your car. Unless you're a Pakistani, you get a free fucking bike. They'll take the buses off. <laughs> We're getting a lot of visitors. A little fella came with like like slinty eyes. Ah, oh, excuse me. Call you tell where I take a piss. I said, pardon you, yellow slinty eyed bastard. <laughs> Call you tell us why I take a piss. I said, you found Pearl Harbor, didn't you? Fuck off. <laughs> An American came over. He said, hey, guy. I thought, fuck me. It's not bonfire night, is it? <laughs> he said, where's all the broads round here? I said, oh, not round here. You want to bust to Norfolk? I live in a fucking rough area. I don't make any bones about it. I went down the pet shop yesterday and the lad jumped out with a knife. He went, oh, oh, fat cunt. <laughs> Must have been a local lad. The knife still had fucking butter on it. <laughs> Fella next door, he's a lifeguard and he can't swim. But he's six foot seven, so he walks out a fucking long way. One of his kids come in our house on bonfire and he said, Oh, chubby, you fat cunt. <laughs> Do you like roast taste? I said, yeah. He said, good, your fucking garden's on fire. <laughs> I'd like to do a song, and just to break the monotony, I'd like to start with a song. Uh, get you going a little bit. There'll be a few hards on when I finish this. It's called sitting on your face. Here we go. I'd use your shit for toothpaste. Wash my face with your pubic hair. I'd bottle your farts for the keepsake. Let you gobble me, which is fair. My tongue could fertilize your egg while my prick's in a private place. But how can I say I love you when you're sitting on my face? No surprise, but what is on my mind? She's such a hairy fanny. Well, it's not the usual kind. It's big, it's pink, it's round. And what? Hang on, Ronnie. Hang on. They're not dancing. Fuck them. <laughs> I've just been having a look round. There's some lovely girls in here, isn't there? Anybody like to sit on my face after the show? Is there any? I'll guess you wait with me tongue. I could be wrong, I might have to have another guess about four o'clock. I wonder what fish smelt like before women went swimming in the sea. Hey, God, I don't know. But isn't it fucking hot over here? My balls are sticking to my legs. You can always tell when the summer's here, the fucking council are gritting the roads. I've just seen a tree chasing a dog. 
I was at the club last night in Skegness. Have you ever been to Skegness? What a fucking dump. I was at this great big club. There was that much broken glass in the lounge, the fucking Alsatian had sandals on. I went along the M62, I picked this hitchhiker up, well it was only fair, I'd knocked the cunt down. <laughs> I stopped at the motorway cafe and I got myself a ham sandwich, well I only had a fucking tenner on us. The price of the ham, the pig must have been a fucking millionaire. There was an Ethiopian on this table, plain fuck with a waitress. Apparently, there was only one fly in his fucking soup. I said to the girl, can I use the toilet? She said, I'm sorry, staff only. First time I've had to apply for a job for a shit. I got in this skeg nest and the fella said, oh, fat bastard. Seen a policeman, I said, what round are you on a copper? <laughs> oh, fuck off. I said, you're joking, you don't see a copper's round here. He said, stick him up, you twat. <laughs> he followed me into the gents, he said, you're sucking this, son. <laughs> or I'll blow your fucking head off. My mate said, what did you do, Chubbs? I said, well, you didn't hear a bang, did you? You're probably looking at me and thinking that poor bastard's got that slimmer's disease. <laughs> I've been having a bit of a weight problem with my feet, you know. I can't keep them out the fucking pantry. <laughs> the doctor said, you smoke too much, you fat bastard. Should have a cigarette after each meal. I'm doing pretty well. I'm down to 40 fucking meals a day now, you know. <laughs> Have you ever tried losing weight, isn't it? Fucking hard. Uh, I send away for this weightlifting equipment and it's very expensive, so they send me a little bit each week. It's done fuck all for me. But the fucking postman's like that. <laughs> Still, I used to be on the middle pages of Playgirl, you know. Completely naked. You'd have seen me cock if it hadn't been for the staples. <laughs> I haven't always been a heartthrob. I've done other things. I took up boxing when I left school. I had 28 professional fights. Lost one, drew two, and chickened out of 25. <laughs> in my last fight, this bastard hit me that hard, I had to fucking pay to get back in. remember was the dressing room was miles from the ring. Fucking glad I didn't have to walk back. <laughs> I'm doing well just lately though. Yorkshire Television came to see me. They said, Chubby, we've seen your act. We're going to give you three minutes on the TV. But we want no F's or C's or T's or B's or A's or D's. Never knew that was a swear word. <laughs> Enrod, I've signed a new two-year contract with Granada. Mind you, if I miss a payment, they take the fucking set back within a week. <laughs> they get on about me swearing and all that, and they get on about Bernard Mann, and I've just been watching the fucking TV there, and an advert come on. This handsome bastard called Gareth is having a cup of coffee. Two fucking daft tarts run into the garden. Morning, Gareth. How do you start the day? <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm not fucking waiting for you lot. <laughs> I rang my tailor up the other night, I said, is that you Arthur? He said, aye. I said, well it's Chubby. He said, well what do you want Chubby? It's five to three in the morning. I said, I know. Arthur, I'm in bed with your 17-year-old girl and I'm riding the arse off her. 
Do you think this is fucking funny, chubby? I said, let's be honest, Arthur, it's the first time you've made out it actually fits me. <laughs> I'm not a ladies, man. I only get women because of what I am. Fucking rapist. <laughs> Last time I had my leg over, she was pregnant. Do you know how far gone she was, but when I put my dick in, somebody bit it. I tell you what I have noticed, when women get older, they get, like, funny, don't they? My wife now, she's in her 40s now, and she likes to talk to me during sex. She rang us from a hotel the other night, she said, is that you? She <laughs> we had separate holidays, you know, early part of the year. She sent me a card, it said, I feel like a new woman. What she didn't know was, while she was away, I was feeling a fucking new woman and all. <laughs> Me and my mate one night, we pulled these two beds off each other. They were fucking fighting at the time. <laughs> my pal said, go on, chubby, get stuck in. I know, eh? Legs are open more times than the packy shop. <laughs> he said, are you a man or a mouse? I said, oh, it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a mouse these days. Pussy gets them both in the fucking end, any road. She was at the bar, walked across dead casual. I went, hi, baby. My name's Royston, but you can call me Roy if you like. She said, my name's Persephone. You can fuck off. <laughs> I said, don't be hasty, have a cigarette. She said, no thanks, one fucking drag's enough. I said, how oh, would you like to see the soles of your feet in me fucking wing mirrors? <laughs> she said, you a chubby brown, you. There's a rumour going round you have a 12-inch cock. I said, I know, I fucking started it. <laughs> she said, I'm a prostitute. I said, well, I'll be blowed. She said, well, that's a fucking fiver. She said, look, give me 20 pounds and you can have it any way you like. I thought, oh, fucking hell. I'll give you 40 pounds if you do it my way. She said, what's your fucking way like? I said, 20 pence a week. <laughs> we got in the back of the car. There's no messing with chubby head straight between her legs. I said, come here, you bastard. This copper shone his torch. I thought, fucking hell. Good job I've got a liquor license. <laughs> I said, where have you got the money from for this car? It's a Porsche, isn't it? It's B registration. Fucking hell, I cost a fortune. She said, I used to smuggle yo-yos in the country, Joby. I used to sit on them. There wasn't one customs man had the guts to pull that little bit of string out. I didn't know she had an artificial leg till we got back to the house. She was lying on the bed. I said, oh, where's your other fucking leg? <laughs> she said, it's on the dressing table. I said, there's no need to open them that wide. <laughs> Mind you saying that I do have that Welsh railway station tattooed on my prick. Fucking real. <laughs> the wife nipped me one of them woolly warmers. I said, I don't want that, you dozy bastard. <laughs> so she pulled the wool out and made a fucking cardigan. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you wouldn't like it up your ass. <laughs> oh, you probably fucking would. I wish I hadn't said that. Hey, we had a big party round the house on Saturday. I was fucking knackered because everybody was there. Granddad, Grandma, Auntie Ivy, Auntie Mabel come round, Auntie Alice. All the kids were there. Everybody's having a good time. One o'clock, dropping us off, chubby. 
Yeah, yeah, trouble. Am I the only bastard in this house with a car that's fucking taxed and tested? <laughs> Why is it that you're always dropping us off, Chubby, for fuck's sake? You may as well stop. Christ, Grandad can sleep with me. Grandma can sleep with the wife. Auntie Mabel, and Andy Ivy can use the bunk beds. Alice can use the camp bed. We'll get the kids mucked in on the settee. Well, about half past three, I had to tell him. I said, Grandad, I'm going to fucking slap you in a minute. <laughs> You've done nothing but fucking toss and turn since you got to this bed. You old wrinkled bastard. He said, it's 20 years since I had a hard-on like this, son. I think I'll tip it on the back bedroom, frighten the life out of your fucking grandma. I said, you'll have to take me with you. You've got all the mark cock. Bye, I was bad on Sunday. I had 25 martini and lemonades. I'm sure one of them fucking cherries was off. <laughs> but you know what we like, girls, us fellas, when we're ill? we fucking big babies, aren't we? Aye, that's why we like sucking your tits. Fucking hell, I'm enjoying this. The only way you'll get me off free is get the fucking police. No. I should have been a policeman. I'm always helping them with their fucking inquiries. <laughs> Pulled me up last night. He said, hey, fat bastard. <laughs> he went around that round about 12 fucking times. I said, I'm not, it's not my fault. The indicator's stuck. I came to Leeds one night, it was very foggy and misty, fucking hell. I had no clue where I was. And I, I, I thought, I'll follow this lad, he'll know the way. It's like a one-way system in the centre of Leeds. Just put his brake lights on, I hit the fucking windshield. <laughs> I got out, I walked around, I said, excuse me, bellend. <laughs> I said, I must apologise for going into the back of you there, but you fucking twat. <laughs> you just put your brake lights on, no indication whatsoever, and nearly went through that fucking windscreen. Do I look like books, Fizz? <laughs> I said, would you mind telling me, if it isn't too much fucking trouble, like, what the... Fucking hell! You think you fucking bastard playing that? Said I'm in my garage, mate. <laughs> Sent for a copper. This copper said, uh, "Is this you a car, fat fucker?" I said, yes, constable. <laughs> so what do you do on a Sunday then? Take your family out for a fucking push? <laughs> he said, has this car been checked? I said, no, it's always been light blue. I did the fucking wheels once or twice. <laughs> said, the mileage looks wrong. I said, British summertime, you have to put the fucking clocks back an hour. I said, how long has that tyre been on? I said, oh, uh, about a fortnight, that one. How come when you pass me, I got fucking 20 lashes then? <laughs> What's the glass floor floor? Is that to, to see who you're fucking knocking down? <laughs> Have you got to change gear when you go over a fucking cat's eye with this thing? I said, who did you buy this fucking heap off? Oh, I said, a fella called Harold had to give his license, so I've got a fucking arrow in his eye. <laughs> he said, I'll ask you a couple of questions, and if you don't answer them, Sonny Jim, you'll be going down that police station, shit hot. Well, I think that means fucking fast. 
I said, fire away. She said, what's the series of traffic lights? I said, oh, you must be fucking joking. She said, no, I don't fucking joke, fatty. <laughs> what's the series of traffic lights? I went, <laughs> fuck me, it's thingy. <laughs> fucking, uh... don't tell us I passed one yesterday. I know I fucking did. Uh... Fucking hell, the bright and all, because you, know, you can see them a few yards away. Um, red, amber, green. He said, what comes after green? I said, well, you've got me there. I've usually fucked off by then. I never am out of the green. <laughs> what are you going to use for a mouth on that elephant once he's fucking arsehole back? <laughs> Well, the old thalidomise learning to talk, eh? <laughs> Shout all you like, I'm a pro like your fucking mother was. <laughs> Aye, my daughter come in this morning, 16, I'm pregnant, Dad. I said, you doozy bastard. <laughs> all right, who the fucking hell is it? She said, don't be silly, Dad. When you eat a tin of beans and you fart, you don't know which fucking bean it was, do you? <laughs> She brought this lad home the other day, yellow teeth, fucking green hair, safety pin through his nose. I said, hey, son, the fucking nappies fell off your face. <laughs> I said, make yourself at home. He went to fucking bed. <laughs> I look in the paper every day and see what's going on. And did you see that in the Daily Mirror yesterday? He'll kill his fucking daft self him. Evil can evil. He's riding through Ethiopia with a fucking pie on his head. <laughs> I was reading this column by Marjorie Proof. She said it was our fault we get depressed. She said if we walked about whistling and singing, we wouldn't get depressed. So if you don't mind, boys and girls, I'd like to sing to you what I did in the last 24 hours. Just to make it interesting, I've done it with song titles. I was sat in the house and fucking hell, this happened. Here we go. I said, hey, somebody's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. Will you do me a favour, love? Will you open the door? For fuck's sake, and let him in. Who is it? Hello, Mr. Robinson. He is a linesman for Notts County. He said, hey, troops, I beg your pardon. Your dog should shit on our garden. I said, our dog, if you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place. Said, you're a wanker, you're a wanker. Then in came the ugly duckling. With the 12 rollers dangling, 11 spots need busting, 10 nicotine fingers, 9 big red pimples, 8 inch wagging tongue, 7 pubic hairs, 6 yellow teeth, 5 pigeon toes, 4 fucking blackheads, 3 double shins, 2 hairy armpits, 1 massive fanny. And this boil up her ass, you can't see. She said, I want a D I V O R C E. There was lipstick on your colour, told the tail on you. I said, hey, dude. Long and they pushed by. She was standing on the corner watching all the boys go by. And I spoke to her, Let me take you home, little girl. She jumped up and down and went to knickers in the air. She said, I'm only 16. Congratulations. Let's have a party. The minute she walked in the joint, I thought, Christ, she's got a lovely bunch of coconuts. You stood bare Fucking hell I didn't know you were blonde down there You're black on top of You dyed your moth What a pussy lass Whoa, 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 whoa What a pussy lass Whoa, whoa, whoa Come on, baby And let yourself go She had this good, 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 good vibrator Get fatty bum bum I want to play with your tingle. She used 20 tiny fingers downtown. That's what I did. I went downtown. She had a ticket to ride. She bent me, shaped me any way she wanted me. Now 
I've got her under my foreskin Cause I've got rubber balls that come in the avenues and alleyways I did what I did for a beer Now she knows I'm the queer Thank heaven For little boxes, little boxes When they're all wet and full of ticky-tacky She's a hawk Lifting me high I said, baby face You've got your asshole in the funny place She said, I can't keep it in I can't keep it in I gotta let it out Then she fucking farted What a beautiful noise Came out of that place Anyone who likes to fart Don't try to catch the wind Cause we'd had curry on over at my place I said, have a drink, have a drink, have a drink on me She said, a sherry, sherry me She was uptight Everything was all right But you always hurt the one you love Well, I think about it We should have danced all night Now she'll stand by her pram Cause she had the face I can't forget Got the Christmas, it was January Sick and tired We ended up kung fu fight It's not unusual Why do fools fall in love? I'm sick, I'm sick as fuck cover charge here to keep the fucking riffraff out. Oh, thanks very much. Hey. Name a town after me, fucking Leatherhead. I'm trying to be funny, incidentally, and he's fucking dressed like that. What an ugly bastard. Mother must have been a weightlifter to raise a fucking dumbbell like you, son, was she? Your fucking head should be on blankety blank. <sighs> Never mind. Go back to the sewerage found. There could be stocked in and finds a bucket of fucking shite missing. I bet you wish you hadn't fucking said out now, don't you? Keep shouting so the bouncers can see where you fucking sat. I walked in the ladies' toilet when I come in. This girl said, excuse me, this is for women. I said, fucking so is this. <laughs> do I look tired, by the way? Went to one of them show business celebrity parties last night. I was the only fucker they had never heard of. He spoke to me, you know, Paul Young, that good-looking bastard. He said, oh, shift, cunt. They made this concoction, it was like a bowl of chopped fruit with red wine in it. I said, punch anybody? Didn't wake up for two fucking hours. <laughs> hey, I come round, I got talking to a very posh lady, a Mrs. Kipling. She was an exceedingly good fuck. <laughs> we walked along the beach and our back scuttled her. She said, would you mind placing your testicles in, Chubbs? I said, why, love? She said, you're flicking sand up me ass." <laughs> what a fanny on her. <laughs> Apparently, at the end of the month, she had to wrap cotton wool around a fucking rolling pin. <laughs> you should have seen the house. You can always tell people with money that make me fucking sick. There was fruit on the table. No fucker was ill. I bet the bed was as big as this room and there was a plaque above it. It said Dick Tape and slept here. But the colour of the sheets, he was obviously on his fucking horse. 
Marks had one of those black negligees that go right down to the back from Marks and Spencer's, 9.95. Just shows the little crack in the ass. She turned it round, fucking deliberate. <laughs> Tips were sticking out the front. Ah, not fucking silly. She said, Chubby, do you notice anything? <sighs> I said, aye, fucking skid marks are on the front there. You have to get around the back. I never got home to laugh, too. The wife was stood behind the front door with a rolling pin. I said, oh, fuck me. You never up at this time, bacon, are you? I said, how we get to bed? I'll give you the 68. She said, 69. And I said, no, I'll give us a gobble. I'll owe you one. Lord clever when he put women together. The man must have been a fucking draftsman. He made pubic hair curly so it didn't poke our eyes out. He put the ass and the fanny together like that. I mean, that's fucking dead handy, that isn't it? The wife or girlfriend gets pissed, falls over, you can pick it up like a six pack of lager. We got into bed and we were lying there. Well, I was lying to her. She was fucking lying to me. Because <laughs> I always do that, you know. I always put a bit of chalk behind me and she says, Where have you been tonight, you fucking dirty stop out? I said, I was down the club. There was strippers on. One of them got me on stage, sat on me fucking face. <laughs> rubbed her tits all over me. I was biting her fucking ass. A lying bastard, you've been playing fucking darts. The chalk's behind your ear. <laughs> I don't know what time it was, but I just put my hand on the old Brillo pad like that. I went. <laughs> she said, You can fucking get off that. I've got to be up at six in the morning. I said, if it takes me that long, I'll fucking pack in. <laughs> hey, I don't know if your wife's like mine, but she won't sleep near the bedroom door, you know. Oh, no, bogeymen and fucking moths. <laughs> I feel sorry for moths, don't you, flying around with the legs open so we can have the balls to make our fucking clothes fresh. <laughs> Must have been late. And she decides to empty her ass. So she cocks her leg over. I said, you big dirty bastard. You woke me up there, you twat. Went along the landing like fucking Nelly the Elephant. She deliberately leaves the toilet door open. I mean, she was thinking I was fucking born yesterday. And I was listening to her because I couldn't get to sleep. Psst. I thought, I'm glad I wasn't kissing her clitoris there. And I've ended up looking like fucking Tessa Sanderson. Is she in? <laughs> she come back along the landing, cocks her leg over, little drops of piss all over me. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> piss. <clears throat> Which incidentally was very nice. I said, you must be Yorkshire's dirtiest bastard, you. She said, I haven't got a cock. I can't just fucking shake it. So have you tried stamping your fucking feet?
And when I got out of bed this morning, I grabbed her by the ankles, I pulled her around the fucking bedroom. <laughs> she always looks forward to that fest drag on the morning. <laughs> My little boy come in the bedroom, he said, Hey, Dad, I've just asked our man where I come from. She said, the sugar bowl. I said, aye, that's about the fucking size of it. I said, why aren't you at school? He said, oh, I'm watching Star Trek, Dad. It's great. I wish I could have been shot into space. I said, well, you would have been if I hadn't been fucking pissed. <laughs> he followed me in the shower. He said, Dad, what's some things there on your cock? I said, if you must know, those are your dad's nuts. Oh, those are the nuts you put on a rock and you crack. I said, no, these are the nuts you put in a crack and you rock. <laughs> he put some toothpaste on the brush with the red stripe and he's scrubbing his balls. I said, you're a dirty little twat. I said, I don't want a cavity like my sister, do I? I got downstairs, the wife's face was as long as E.T.'s fucking phone bill. She said, it's about time we took the Christmas tree down. I said, will you leave the fucking Christmas tree where it is? Stops the dog wanting to go out. The phone rang, this dozy bastard must have thought our house was a lighthouse. Asked me if the fucking coast was clear. Eh. Uh, Hey, there's some daft cunts about it. She did me a bit of breakfast. I said, bah, this is nice. She said, it should be. Fucking top breeders recommend that. <laughs> she can't cook, incidentally. Have you ever heard of toad in the hole with a real fucking toad? <laughs> Made a real bob pie. It was a foot long and a fucking inch thick. I bought a cookery book by Delia Smith. She was fucked after the first page. It said, take a clean pan. <laughs> Thick as shit. Told her black underwear, turned me on. She never washed me fucking vest for a fortnight. <laughs> I said to her the other day, why don't you shave yourself? Could get me going. Come out the bathroom ten minutes later with a fucking bald head. <laughs> I went down to the shops for her and I felt a bit of a sore throat coming on, so I thought I'd get myself a nice lolly. I opened the freezer quite innocently and I, I thought, fuck's that? <laughs> there was a cock in the freezer. I'm not joking, it had a bell end. Because it was purple. I recognised it straight away. I called the girl around, oh, oh, oh. There's a cock in the freezer. <laughs> Amongst the fucking lion's maids. She said, it's only a cock. I said, look at the date. It should have been sucked weeks ago. <laughs> When I got home, the council were pulling away from the house with a wagon. I went, hey, hey, oh, hey, fuck you doing? <laughs> said, all right, Chubbs, just took the coca, left you a new one. I said, put that bastard back, please. <laughs> no, we've left you a new one, council policy. We've, we've exchanged all the block, you're all right. It's got fancy knobs, a grill lights up, glass front on your roof. I said, will you put that fucking bastard coca back? He said, you're an awkward cunt, Chubby. I said, me fucking dinner's in it. <laughs> I'd been in the house five minutes and the police were there. See, two of my mates fell out. Hey, it was going to be nasty. One of them pulled a gun on the other one. I stood in the middle of them. I went, Dave, Dave, hey, put the gun down. This is fucking silly, this. Put the gun down. And without thinking, he let it go. <laughs> the bullet went in there, out my ass, blew his balls off. 
I said, the police, why should I be charged? He said, hey, fat cunt, it was through you. He fucking shot him. <laughs> she was in from next door this morning. Any chance of a cup of sugar? I said, you can fuck off. <laughs> Scrounging bastard. You've a better chance of throwing a fucking boomerang away. So me and the wife started arguing through that cow. Don't you poke me, fat bastard, she said. I said, I wasn't, I was counting the spots. She said, I use ponds. I said, I saw the fucking ducks. <laughs> Ugly twat she is. Goes to the bank, they turn the fucking cameras off. Get our holiday snaps from the chemist. We only keep the fucking negatives, you know. She's fatter than me. We've never had an orgasm yet. Before we get there, we've always rocked our fucking selves to sleep. <laughs> if David out the Bible had used the elastic out of her knickers, that Goliath would have been a fucking vegetable. <laughs> she still goes to keep fucking fat classes. Oh, what was it she said to me on Sunday? I'll have you know I'm into a 12. I said, what fucking show? <laughs> Had an operation last year, cost me a fortune. They pulled all the skin on top of her head and tied it in a knot. Fucking belly button was there. <laughs> Only drawback was when you were saying goodnight, you were kissing the hair of your set of lips. <laughs> I said, you know, for a woman, you've got fuck all in place. She said, kiss my fucking ass. <laughs> I went out for a jog this morning, because you can see I'm obviously fucking fit. <laughs> Come on, be honest, girls, from the side, Bert Reynolds. <laughs> Must be off of a Bert Reynolds there when he's walking through Hollywood and all of that to shout, no chubby, you fat cunt! Hey, I got to Leeds and Bradford Airport the other day, if you'd seen the fucking women. They were shouting, Big C, Big C, Big C, Big C. If you don't believe me, ask Cliff Richard, he was fucking stood behind us. <laughs> yeah, I was flying along the road this morning. No, of course I'm quite fit now, fucking... And this steamroller fucking shot past us. I must have blacked out. I come round to the hospital. The doctor said, has the nurse given you anything? I said, oh, no, I got this dose last Saturday night over time in Sheffield. <laughs> he said, I'll examine you for two pounds. I said, oh, good, if you find it, we'll have a fucking quid each. <laughs> he said, I think you were a bit of an hypochondriac, Chubby. I said, look, I can't help having the shit. He said, did you eat anything that might not have agreed with you yesterday? I said, oh, I didn't argue with any fucker yesterday, me. <laughs> Food-wise, I said, oh, no, I, I only had the usual. Six eggs, half a pound of bacon, half a pound of sausage, half a pound of mushrooms, a bit of fried bread, a bit of plain bread, a yo-yo yogurt, a pack of crisps, and went to work and had a Mars bar and I read the paper. I had a packet of biscuits, and at 11 o'clock I had a coffee, but I didn't put any sugar in because obviously it's fucking fattening. <laughs> 10 to 12, I was at the canteen, I had soup and sweet, was sweet was apple pie and cuss, I saw it twice, and I had roast beef and Yorkshire puddings, I don't usually, but I thought I may as well go the whole hog, you know, I had two soups, it was minestrone, George in one is, I thought, well, I'm not wasting fucking 20 pence here, about one, I've got a hamburger, I got an ice cream about three, I had a packet of cheese and onion crisps, can you smell my breath, and about 10 to 4, I was at home, the wife had me egg bacon, sausage beans and chips ready, and I got washed and changed, and I went down the club, I called them the fish shop, I had fish and chips twice, some mushy peas, Fuck me, when I got down the club, there's a wedding on, and they called me over. They said, hey, fat gun, how are you over here? <laughs> I went over just to be hospitable. I had a sandwich, I had a bolivon, I think you call them bolivons, you know, and I had a piece of cake. On the way home, I called them the Chinese. I had some egg full young, curry sauce, mix. He said, hang on, drop your trousers. There's your trouble, you've only one fucking ass. You're a good crowd. I was in Ross Eyth last night. I was in Scotland. I was talking to somebody who came back from the Falklands. I said, what was it like? He said, look, Chubby, I don't want to talk about it, all right. I said, well, did you get a drink to relieve the boredom? He said, penguin milk. I said, oh, fuck me. 
you get out to eat? He said, penguin burgers. I said, well, what did you do for your haul? He said, follow me. <laughs> Told me a story about a polar bear. Well, I pissed myself. You sat in an iceberg having a shite. <laughs> and a penguin sat next to him. And the polar bear went, hey, hey, hey. Dirty little bastard. <laughs> Fucking hell, you do it? You've shit all over me, paws. All over me, fucking glass of your mint. <laughs> it's all up your fucking feathers. Penguin said, I don't mind shit up me feathers. He said, oh, good. A woman walked in a public house and there was an old fella in the corner sat near the fire. She said, excuse me, aren't you bad postal threat? He said, yes, love. Chipperfield Circus, 1952, on tour. He said, yes, you've got a good memory. Of course I am. I'm Hilda the bearded lady. Fuck me, I've had a shave. <laughs> Bert said, fucking hell, Hilda. Sit down, let me get you a drink. Well, they're having a little natter about the old days. And he said to her, you know, there wasn't any violence then, was there? She said, no, no. And you know, the acts then were a lot strong. I mean, your act was fantastic, wasn't it? I mean, remember? You used to bend the iron bar over your fucking bell end. <laughs> I said, I can't do it now. My wrists have gone. This lad said to his mate, do you want to make some money, John? No, he said, I'm not bothered, I get my gyro in the morning. No, we're robbing a bank. He said, we fucking are not. He said, yeah, it's dead easy, you shit house, dead easy, man. All you've got to do is run in the van, cush the guard, tie him up with his own braces, put your foot on his neck if he moves, get all the staff on the floor, get all the money out the drawers and put it in the bags. Take all the telephones off and cut all the wires, because sometimes I have bells under the table. Pull all the blinds down first, of course. You must do that first. Get the manager, get the combination of the safe, get the safe open, put all the stuff in the safe, but make sure you get all the money in the bags and drag all the bags to the door and I'll take all the risks outside. <laughs> he said, hang on, fuck face. <laughs> you were taking all the risks. He said, yeah, the fucking car's not taxed. So am I. <laughs> Stop trying to be like Tarzan because you got a face like fucking cheetah's ass. <laughs> E.T., if you're on the roof, go home and take these cunts with you, will you? <laughs> these two women were talking and one said, Margaret, as you get older, does your fanny actually get bigger? Oh, she said, I wouldn't have thought so, Hazel. She said, well, I'm going to tell you something. I don't want you to tell a soul. But I had my leg over last night, and personally, I felt like the outside of a fucking sausage roll. She said, well, have you, have you had a look at it? She said, what, from here, you know, I'm putting a bit of beef on. She said, well, why don't you stand on a mirror, you silly cow? Eee, she said, I never thought of that. So she went home, and she took the mirror off the bathroom wall, put it on the floor, and she was having a look. She thought, okay, And her husband passed the bathroom. <whistles> and he pushed her. She went, you bet, you twat. <laughs> you nearly broke my fucking arm there. She said, you ungrateful cow. If you'd fell down there, you'd have broke your fucking back. <laughs> this is my favourite. This will fucking kill the lads, this. All these little sperms were sat in the testicle. They're all sat round having a drink and a fag. And one of them called Egbert's doing a bit of weightlifting. Oh, fuck it. And the head sperm said, Excuse me, Egbert. 
I'm not fucking word with you. Will you sit down? You're rocking the bollock. It's our fucking break time. You've nearly cracked me flask. He said, listen, it only takes one spam to fertilise the egg, and every time this testicle's flush, we go along that pipe, I'm always fucking last. Well, I'm going to build my strength up and get myself a sunbed. Fuck you lot. Well, a couple of weeks later, the testicle was actually flushed out of the blue. And along the pipe that went, egg but out in front. <laughs> but a couple of seconds later, he was on his fucking way back. <laughs> Foss alarm, lads, blow job! Did the bus driver here from the mentally handicapped school? <sighs> Never mind. I'm enjoying it, I really am. Do you want to see me again with the next fortnight? Magistrates called off us till Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> hey, look, I always say this before I finish, mate. I always say this. Please be careful if you're driving home because I'm fucking walking. You're all right, lads, I can remember when I had my first pint. <laughs> what the put in the school milk these fucking days? <laughs> do you watch play school, son? Which fucking window do you want to go through? Look, he might not be laughing. I'll get a fucking good eye, near. <laughs> I was intoxicated one night, and this big West Indian said, "Oh, fat honky bastard." <laughs> I said, "Yeah, you recognise us, eh?" <laughs> I said, "Two can play at that game, wog." <laughs> and about twelve of them were around the corner. I thought, "Fuck me, I'm going to get out of this." I ran like fucking hell. <laughs> I got down the docks, this ferry was just about well, 12 feet from the side, I thought, fuck me. One or two things here, Chubby, you can get your fucking head kicked in, or you can get wet. <laughs> fuck it. I pulled myself up on the ferry, I went, hey, you fucking bass, you don't want this. <laughs> Thick lips, thick lips. <laughs> big nuts, no, look at her. Big cocks, big cocks. Look, said, I wouldn't have done that if I was you. I said, why? He said, we're just coming in. <laughs> it's a nice place. I like the first time I've ever been here. My, my brother's been on here because he's with the group, plays the guitar, smokes the dope. They all fucking do, you know. He's walking about like this half the time. The police raided our house Wednesday night. He hid it in a cuckoo clock. He'd have fucking got away with it, but he was dead on six. <laughs> and the cuckoo come out and said, Hey, leave the time on me, shit face. I was on a club on Saturday night, eh? I was on with three fantastic acts. I was on with a duo that juggled with knives and axes. By the way, not fucking good. Two of them went on and fucking four of them come off. <laughs> then there was a strong man on. He was fucking snapping chains, bending fucking iron bars, tearing telephone directories and half. He said, ladies and gentlemen, I can straighten anything. This woman from Beeston threw him a fucking rent book. I knew you were from there, lad, you know, I was just arguing with you. I felt sorry for the hypnotist, though. Oh, poor bastard. He must have gone home with a fucking sore ass. He got six big rugby players on the stage. He put them to sleep, he said, you will do as I say. Dropped the microphone and said, oh, fuck me. I got 
talking to a big fat tart. Took her on the back of the club for a knee trembler. She sweat that much, I could have made a fucking pan of chips. She smelled like hinge and brackets, fucking piss pot. She'd obviously put her knickers on with a fucking shoe on. You know the type, passes a chemist shop, the weighing machine runs in and locks the fucking door. I ripped her knickers off, but looking for a minge was another fucking thing. Been easy to find the tide mark on a fucking pucky's neck. She said, I suppose she'd like a wank now, or did I said, well, I wouldn't say no. She said, I'll be in the fucking lounge when you're finished. What makes you laugh? Fucking open graves. <laughs> you better fuck off home. Your coffin lid might be nailed down. I don't know if I'm looking old. I looked in the mirror this morning. I thought, fuck me. I hope them cracks are in the glass. I walked past the cemetery and these two cheeky bastards chased me with shovels. I know what's the matter is because I'm up till two, three, four o'clock in the fucking afternoon some days. The doctors give me some suppositories. For what good they are, there's a stick about me fucking ass. I'm famous for a song round here. I've been doing it now for 17 years. It's called I'm a Sick as Fuck. I'm as sick as a giraffe with a stiff neck. I smell like a postman's sock. I'm as dry as a nun's crutch I'm as well known as Edel Flynn's cock I'm as tight as Sillsmith's underpants I'm as large as the county of Gloucester About as useless as the second and Tom Paxton More mean as I'm Brendan Foster I'm as sick as fuck I'm as sick as fuck I'm fucking sick I'm as sick as fuck Sick as fuck, e I'm fucking sick. I'm as thick as a West Indian's lips, as wrinkled as John Boy's granny. I smell like a lavatory brush. I'm about the sores a honeymoon is funny. As lousy as Mick Jagger's vest, about as high as Victoria Ball. I'm as hard as a British rail scot, but about as useless as Pope Paul's balls. I'm as sick as fuck. I'm as sick as fuck. Hey, I'm fucking sick. I'm as sick as fuck. I'm as sick as fuck. I'm fucking sick. I'm as friendly as a traffic ward. About as gentle as a rugby team And I know I've done for this comedy My fucking Kojak's done for real cream I've seen more pricks than a lavatory seat I'm as welcome as the electric bill But don't take any notice of me I'm a morning fat cunt and I'm ill I'm as sick as fuck I'm as sick as fuck I fuck as sick I've been a Elvis I'm a sick as fuck. I'm sick as fuck. I'm fucking sick. Thank you very much. Thank you. fucking window. <laughs> if you'll be one of the seven dwarves, you, you'd be fucking dopey. <laughs> fucking funny than me, that cunt. Yeah. Boys and girls, chaps and chapasses. 
Members of the jury, before you read it in the paper tomorrow, I better tell you, I've been up a court. I did something I didn't do. I didn't get the fucking car fast enough. <laughs> I was up a court for fucking drinking and driving. Isn't that fucking stupid, eh? He said, £400 fine, bound over three years, licence and dose for 12 months. I thought, well, if a man can't have a fucking lager shandy. <laughs> the next case that was up was a vicar from Weatherby and he'd been interfering with choir boys. I thought, well, the poor bastard. <laughs> He'll get fucking 50 years here. <laughs> the magistrate said, £2 fine, bound over for a day and a half. Will you try not to be naughty again, please? So I jumped up. Well, you would, wouldn't you? I said, excuse fucking me. <laughs> things here or what? We only had a fucking drink and that filthy bastard if he'd been Chinese he'd have called him Pork and Young I said he probably gets fan letters off that fucking Len Fair Clough the magistrate said will you sit down fat cunt I heard that choir sing. They needed fucking. <laughs> hey, fucking. Well, I'm fucking off now. I'm getting sick. If you want the records, the tapes, the photographs. So if you want to come and talk to me, don't be frightened. We can always have a fight out the back. <laughs> Love you to death around here. You always treat me well. I don't know why. I don't know what the fucking hell I've done to you. So because I live in Newcastle and my best friend's a Geordie. I don't actually come from Newcastle, but... Oh, fucking move now! <laughs> then my best friend was saying, why last this fucking, why last that, why last the other? I've just found out he wasn't on about the radio. <laughs> he went for his holidays in Canada, you know, for two weeks, and he was with this mounted police officer, and this fucking thing come out the forest with antlers. Jordy said, fucking hell, man. We that Alvinas in pen when the fucking board comes in. <laughs> the mounted police officer said, that's a moose. He said, how big is your fucking rats, bonny lad? <laughs> you know, if everybody was like me and couldn't care fucking less, you'd probably switch your telly on a Saturday dinner time and you'd hear Dickie Davis say, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dickie Davis. Welcome to the Wembley Conference Centre. You're just in time to see that young Romanian girl, Nadia Comaneci, mount the box. <laughs> Wouldn't mind mounting her box. <laughs> Lay your tarts up the crack of her ass. Pubic hairs sticking out the side. She's no tits, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> so over to the studio where Bob Wilson is talking to Cyril Regis. Thank you for joining us, Cyril. We did see your canoe in the car park earlier on. You saw the West Germans play. What did you think of that rumour, nigger? What fucking rumour was that, Bob? <laughs> now we're going over to Crystal Palace, where Julian Wilson has some news for us. Well, there was tragedy here in the 15,000 metres as Steve Cram stopped for a piss. <laughs> he was shaking his cock, and the relay team dragged him another 150 fucking yards of distance. Now back to Dickie Davis in the studio. Well, we were going to go to the badminton horse trials, but apparently the horses are having a lot of trouble picking the fucking rackets up this year. <laughs> so we'll go over to the ringside where Harry Carpenter is torn to that other useless bastard, fucking Frank Bruno. <laughs> Good evening, Frank. I love your sunglasses. Them my nostrils, Harry. Now we'll have to go straight over to Wimbledon where Billie Jean King is playing that other lesbian. <laughs> Martina, Matt, Matt, fucking who's it? You know the other one. The one who's got a face like a fucking unsuccessful robber's dog. <laughs> As you know, Martina and Billie Jean King have constantly licked each other in the past. Last but no means least, we'll have to go, obviously, straight over to Innsbruck, where it's snowing very heavily, 
And after France clamour, Chubbs Brown, that great athlete, <laughs> fuck off, <laughs> is going to make his third and final attempt at the giant slalom. Thank you very much. I've lost the ski. <laughs> Had your fucking worry there. Thought I'd come off. <laughs> well, I'm fucking off now, that's it. I've been requested for so many songs tonight off so many of the tapes and albums. This is one I thought I would do for the lads. It's called the C-U-N-T. Here we go. <laughs> brain this guy's a pain you can scream and cuss he'd put his boot up your dog's ass and lick your lass's puss he'd nick your fangs or drink your booze tie fireworks to the cat and inform the door you're working well just who is this twat he's a cunt he's a cunt he's a c-u-n-t cunt with his broken teeth and his ugly face he's a male dick teaser that's out of the place well he sleep with your granny and bite their fanny where the trousers back to front and he farts up pox and he's riddled with pox Cos basically he's a cunt <laughs> He dyes his hair to match his clothes He smells that much he'll Fill your nose with a small tattoo To prove he's tough and an earring He's a fucking buff You've never heard of the human turd He'd be a pig if he could grunt And he talks a load of crap as well Cos basically he's a cunt He's a cunt, he's a fucking cunt He's a C-U-N-T cunt with his broken teeth and so the face He's a meal that sees us out of place Sleep with your granny and bite their fanny Where's his trousers back to front And he barks up scocks and he's riddled with fox Cos basically he's a cunt He spots and warts and blackheads too Does no joke unless it's blue And the vicar's daughter swears and cries He fucked there with a pack of lies Maybe you'd like to meet this man Well you won't have to hunt Cos it's me, it's me Bastards, basically, I'm a cunt. Cunt, I'm a cunt. I'm a see you are a cunt. With my broken teeth and my ugly face, I'm a male dick teaser that's out of place. I sleep with your granny and bite their fanny where my trousers back to front. And I fart some cocks and I'm riddled with fox, cause basically, I'm a cunt. I fart some cocks and I'm riddled with fox, cause basically, I'm a C-U-N-T. I'm not fancy, fucking great big fat cunt. Good night. some more, get fucking filled in here, I can say that. I said to a bloke tonight, where's the frontier, mate? Does this road take us there? He said, no, that road's there every fucking morning when I get off, buddy. I said, you fucking crackers, you. He said, no, I might be, but I'm not fucking lost. <laughs> but you're rough round here. I got to that corner, I put my arm out to turn left, pulled it back, my fucking watch was missing off my wrist. Did a bit of shopping in Leeds this afternoon, watched the drunk, he, I pissed myself. He walked into a jeweler's shop, took his dick out, lobbed it on the counter, went, oh, where the fuck are you? <laughs> the girl never flinched, she said, excuse me, this is a clock shop, not a cock shop. <laughs> he said, I know, get a couple of fucking hands on that. I called him the hairdressers, he said, I've done your head, we like anything on it, Mr. Brown. I said, I, a pair of knickers, you've made me look like a cunt. <laughs> he said, I was just feeling your hair there, it's like the wife's pussy. I said, oh, fuck off. <laughs> your lass's pussy's a lot fucking tighter than that, actually. <laughs> he said, you know, if I shaved all your hair off, nobody would recognise you. I said, you shave all my hair off and no fuck will recognise you. The wife and I went into a holiday firm thing, a travel thing. I said, how about these, one of these pound stretchy holidays? Huh, wouldn't get me on a stretchy for a fucking quid. 
She's always fucking moaning. You should have heard her. I think it was a month today we went. I don't want to go to Spain. I said, shut your fucking mouth and keep rowing. <laughs> she moaned when we come back off honeymoon, you know. Her mother said, what was the hotel like? She said, I don't know. I only saw the fucking sailing. <laughs> but I had some hard on that fucking week. I'd have an anchor tattooed on my bell end to get it down. She said to me tonight, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Batley. Oh, what did the ceiling do? And I said, I'd... whoever invented decorating, honestly, wants fucking. <laughs> Didn't say that last night when you were up my ass, did you? <laughs> last night, it was whoever invented fucking wanted decorating. Last night. She said, go next door, ask Margaret if we can borrow the emulsion brush. Well, Margaret's always in, you know. She never goes anywhere. I knocked on the door. Margaret, chubby! Margaret, deaf cunt, chubs. There was no answer, so I went round the back, quite innocently, looked through the... W I thought, okay, now... She's only gobbling the insurance, man. Milkman's up her ass. Coleman was sucking her tits. I flew back in the house and told the wife, she said, ah, she's the same at the bingo, a right lucky bastard, eh, you know? <laughs> I brought the wife to Lisa today. Oh, should we stop at the Hotel Yunker? I said, that's the fucking YMCA, you twat. <laughs> Booked in a hotel, it's a fiver each because of the view. I said, how much is it if I don't look? <laughs> no funny cunt, eh? I said, do you mind if I look round? She said, you fucking look round to me, son. <laughs> Man, you can eat as many mushrooms as you like off the bog walls. She said, a fiver each and a fiver for the dog. I said, hey, hang on, I haven't got a fucking dog. She said, no, we have. You've got his room, fat bastard. <laughs> I've had a request tonight for Dolly Parton's tits. <laughs> so I'd like to do it for you. Just go and get me a guitar. What Don't be frightened, it's only me. <laughs> Clitoris Westwood. <laughs> must have been great being a fucking cowboy, mustn't it? Out, out on the plains where you were last, starting the fire by rubbing her legs together. <laughs> Getting under the blanket and saying, oh, this is what they call a cow pork. <laughs> right, you know the words, please join in, just enjoy yourself. Pay for now, go to court, fuck them. There you go. I'd love to see swelling in a knickers. I'd love to see GR blown to bits. I'd love to see Lester Piggott ride between the sheep. And I'd love to see Dolly Parton's tits. I'd love to see Ken Dodd kiss Esther Ransom. I'd love to see Martha Thatcher taking fits And I'd love to see David Bellamy pissed on our TV But most of all, Dolly Parton's tits Cos they're so big and soft and round And they don't make a sound And they'll go down great in history I have a lump inside my pockets Just thinking of Dolly's rockets Well, here it comes again, this fantasy See Mary Whitehouse with a dildo A Barbara Woodhouse dog, get the shits I'd love to see the Yorkshire Ripper roasted by his bollocks But most of all, Dolly Parton's tits I'd love to see Big Daddy lose a fight just for once And I'd 
I'd love to see this song become a hit And I'd love to see Knievel break his fucking neck But most of all, Dolly Parton's tits Begin something round and they don't make a sound and they'll go down brain history. I've a lump inside my pockets, just thinking of Dolly's rockets. This fucking guitar's not too loud for you, is it? I'd love to see Busby with the phone stuffed up his ass. I'd love to see Kojak's head getting it. I'd love to see. Magnus Pike talk without his arms But most of all Dolly Parton's tits I'd love to see a midget get his arms on Siddle Smith And I'd love to see McGregor down the pits But most of all Well I'd feel ten feet tall If I could see Dolly Parton's tits Chubby Brown. Come on, keep the hands clapping, you might come back. Some more? We can't hear you, would you like some more?